Look guys, you gotta check this out. This is incredible. This is not the incredible part. That's just my compost bin and it looks kind of ugly. When I first set up this compost bin, I used bamboo uh, for the stakes. Well, that only lasted for a little while. So then I decided, you know what? We need wood. So there was some very small trees on the field that I just cut a little bit down and, and use it for stakes. Didn't realize for a while. And then one day I came out and I noticed this. The stake that I used. It's got a full five or six foot branch coming out the top. Looks healthy. What? You know what? I think there's something we can learn from that. That stake didn't didn't uh, waste opportunities to grow. As soon as it got in the ground, it started growing. And it reminds me of a verse in the Bible, Philippians 4 verse 11, where Paul was talking about, you know, being content wherever we find ourselves to be. Sometimes that's hard to do, but if we focus on being thankful and grateful, change what I can, and uh, don't stress about the rest because you can't do anything about it anyway. Be like the steak that got cut down and stuck in the ground and kept growing. Grow. Grow, people. Grow. Me. Grow. The video project I'm working on right now is like a big one. Um, it's for Josh and Evangeline, but it's much bigger than that. It's about cystic fibrosis in Thailand. Anyway, when that's done, I'll, I'll give you guys the link so you can watch it. But anyway, I've got interviews, right? <clears throat> Four different interviews, and it's an hour and 12 minutes right now in the timeline. And it's really easy for me to get these like mental blocks and creative blocks and it's like, what do I do? Where do I start? You know, when you've got so much good dialogue and talking about it and it's like, where to even begin in crafting a story that people can relate to but is impactful and tells it the way it is but displays the need and you know, there's just a lot of things. I really don't like putting stuff down on paper, but it helps. So, I mostly don't like the, taking the time. But I went through the whole thing and I wrote down the key points. And then, oh, this happened last night. I was like, I just prayed and I asked God, I'm like, I need to know where to go with this thing. I need to know where to start. Because I had little ideas about this and that and the other thing, but no big picture or anything. And so I just prayed and I, and I flipped the paper over and I said, all right, let's go. And I got that. Well, <clears throat> it's not all the way through. Like, it's, it's not complete. But God was working because it was like, oh, yeah, yeah. okay, that, that's good. And then, oh, that connects. That, okay, that goes really good. And, you know, stuff like that. Just the big picture concepts. And it just kind of flowed together into this you know, beginning of the story arc of this video. And I was just really thankful that God was like taking me from, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I don't know. You know, it's just like overwhelming to it's, it's working. I have something I can work on now to bring that together. And I know when that's done, then he's going to help me get the rest of it figured out and, and get what needs to be there, there, but cut out the excess fat because an hour and 12 minutes is a really long time. Um, so anyway, that's real life for, for me. You know, when we started this channel, we wanted to be 
raw and real. Well, we've tried to be raw and real. Um, and so that was something I was struggling with, and that's something that God did to, uh, to help. And I know it wasn't just me coming up with those ideas of, of what needs to happen or whatever. I know God was working to make that little bit of the storyline come together um, so that I can have some clarity and, and where to move and where to go with it. So I'm very thankful God does answer prayer. So, I actually learned a little lesson this week, and it might sound kind of funny, but that is, I should have spent a lot more time in this hammock than I did in the last week. It all kind of started back when we got home uh, just over a week ago, and Jonathan and I were both not feeling that well, and then it was like, we're getting better, we were sleeping a lot, we were like, sleeping really long nights, and so I thought, yeah, I'm on the mend, I'll be fine, and then it was like, boom, relapse, like got sick all over again, was not feeling good, and it wasn't until yesterday evening, it was like, you know what, I just laid down and rested for like 20 minutes and I feel way better. I probably should have been west resting a lot more in the last week, like, you know, it's easy to get so caught up in getting things done and you feel like okay, I'm home now, I need to get back to my routine, I need to get back into all the things that I think need to get done, and not actually take the time that our bodies need to recover and recuperate and regain health. And you know, in the long run, it doesn't save on time. It's better to get well faster, take more time to rest, and let your body do what it needs to so you have the health that you have. So yeah, something I'm really bad at is taking the time to just rest and not be busy doing this and that and the other thing. But God's teaching me, and hopefully next time I'll do better. And hopefully I'll be feeling better soon. That's all for today, friends. We hope this vlog was a blessing to you, and that you'll join us next time here on Mission Viewfinder for another video. God bless.